So there's a demo for a Twin Peaks fan game out on itch.io right now called Twin Peaks Into the Night, created by two French developers who call themselves Blue Rose Team. And uh, surprisingly, there are a few Twin Peaks fan games on itch, including this Log Lady fan fiction game. <laughs> Neat. But this is the one you want, the haunted PS1 image. The demo is only a short introduction to the game, and it mostly takes place in the hospital following the scenes of the first episode, shortly after Special Agent Dale Cooper shows up in town. When you first start up the game, you get a very nicely edited introduction to the Twin Peaks series, which I won't show here for fear of a copyright strike, but trust me, it's really well done, and any fan of the series can immediately be rest assured that you're in good hands with these developers. They're clearly super fans of the show, who are dedicated to recreating as much of it as possible, and with expert care. They even recreated the series opening in the PS1 style graphics, and I can't even begin to express to you how much I love this. There's a ton of spoken dialogue in the game ripped straight from the series, so again, not going to be playing any of that here. But hearing lines from the show rendered through the chunky PS1 style sound filter was a real treat. A lot of the sound effects are taken from Silent Hill 1, like these door sounds. And the inventory screen is a one-for-one -one recreation of the Silent Hill inventory. But none of this is a negative. I was really happy seeing and hearing this stuff. Gameplay-wise, you control Coop in a fully 3D, fixed camera angle, survival, horror-esque experience. The game has tank controls, but movement feels smooth, and there are some easter eggs to be found right here outside the hospital when you first gain control. You can find the log lady sitting on a bench, and the one-armed man just chilling out in front of the entrance. Leland Palmer is just inside having a small breakdown, and there's some coffee on a table near the entrance. Damn good coffee. And apparently coffee stations are going to act as save points in the final release. Just brilliant. Inside the hospital, you'll meet up with Sheriff Truman and pretty much follow the beats of the first episode's hospital scenes. You'll see Ronette Pulaski, talk with Dr. Jacoby, and inspect Lara's body in the morgue. But the devs threw in a few random NPCs here and there, doctors and nurses in the hospital corridors, and the images for them were taken from other horror movies, like Dr. Loomis from Halloween, and one of the nurses is from An American Werewolf in London. I really enjoyed these extra touches. Mostly you'll just be choosing dialogue options and asking questions to other characters. But there is a little gameplay bit shown off here where you'll need to find some items in the morgue and combine them to extract the letter from underneath Lara's fingernails, just like in the show. The moment the game deviates a bit is when you go to leave the hospital. There's a transition and you'll be transported to the Red Room. You get to explore this area too, and it's structured like a maze with repeating rooms and strange interactions. There's a small puzzle here, and then you'll meet Lara in another scene taken from one of the early episodes of the series. Twin Peaks Into the Night is a short taste, a tech demo really, of what the team has in store for the rest of the game. And it's all really satisfying to explore. I think lots of people have been clamoring for a Twin Peaks game for a while, and the closest thing we've got is Deadly Premonition. But a true Twin Peaks game made by two fans who clearly love the series is something really special. Hopefully they get the chance to actually develop the whole thing. I don't know what their plans are for the full game, or how deep into the series they plan on going. Will we only be getting the Laura Palmer murder investigation? Are we going to find out? How's Annie? Will we be eating any pie? Guess we'll just have to wait and see. For now, go download the game on itch.io to try it out for yourself. I put a link in the description of this video. While you're down there, there are also links to my Twitter and Patreon. Special thanks to these fine supporters for helping out the channel. And yeah, that's it for me. So, Twin Peaks, Into the Night. Check it out. Dungeon Chill. Out. Mm -hmm.